Amen. Well, God bless you, everyone. Thank you so much. From the bottom of my heart, to tune in to Light Purpose Church, uh, we help you to discover your God-given purpose. And I want just want to say a special happy Father's Day for all the fathers out there for showing from good leadership, for showing to be a good role model for the future generation. I know you've been rewarded, and I know you guys do a lot of dedication and hard work. For God bless you for all the fathers. And I want to open up this service with, with prayer. My loving Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for the amazing thing that you're doing. Thank you, Lord, that you continue to guide our hearts and our steps. Lord, thank you for you continue to be there in our weakness and our moment to, to help us and to guide us. And we're just very grateful, Father, for all the amazing things that you're doing. And I declare it in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen. As you guys know, we're doing a sermon series on at the movies, and I know the past couple of weeks we're blessed with the, I'm wondering if this helps. Awesome. Now, I'm sorry, guys, I was checking on something. So, I know Abel Gomez and Jane Chabera already share some really great movies with Bible principles. Now, the movie that I am going to be sharing that been, been really close to my heart, um, wait, hold on, maybe I'm doing something wrong here. Oh man, uh, guys, I'll be right back though. Let me just double check on something. Okay. Awesome, awesome. Sorry guys, I'm just checking on my phone. It's really hard to to record outside live. Now, uh, really quickly though, now the movie I want to talk about today, the title of my message, I want to talk about you are created for a purpose. And one of the movies I really like from the 90s, I grew up in the 90s, is the movie The Iron Giant. It's one of a, a great movie that has so much life lessons that we can learn and to grow uh, through this movie. Now, it all started in the beginning of the movie. It happened in the year 1967. And it, it, it just takes from a, a war and, and with, uh, a person or a robot that just came and crashed. And there was a character, one of my main characters named Hogarth. Now Hogarth went to investigate, went to search the person, which is a robot. And it just seems so amazing though. Now here from four life lessons. Number one, you are what you choose to be. And it's very powerful if you look at it this way in, in the Bible term. Because the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10 that you're created and God mapped the people good work. A lot of times that when, when, we, when we discover something and when we grow into something better. And what I like about this part of the movie that Holgar continued to teach the robot, continued to guide the robot, continued to help him. And if you know in the community and of course the... Um, the government and they were, being, they were being concerned, they want to protect it, they want to investigate. The whole guard trying to hide the robot and teaching the robot, guiding the robot every step of the way. Because a lot of times, you know, people that when, when, when we grow in our relationship with the Lord and Chief, if God is teaching us, God wants trying to guide us, so we were, we're created for a purpose. The Bible says in Romans chapter 8, verse 31 if God is for you, who will be against you? The Bible says in Romans 8, 37, all be things but more than conquer for him that loves us. And see, God doesn't see you what you are, but, but he wants to see you what, 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 what you can become. Because you have potential, just like with the movie, The Iron Giant. The Iron Giant has potential. And, he, and it seems that he has feelings. And yet he can transform into a weapon. But a lot of times that whole God is teaching him that to, to do the right thing. Because he, he may have like a, a mindset. And, but yet, uh, I, I, I like how Dean, Dean saw his potential to, to help him do art crab and work. Now we'll go to number two. Now, uh, number two, I talk about that, um, point number two, that you are Hogar and, and the giant, they were building a relationship. A lot of times we need to build a relationship with people. I, I can imagine that in the Bible, faith in Proverbs chapter 13, verse 20, if you walk with the wise, you become wise. And First Corinthians chapter 13, uh, but um, but Corinthians chapter 15 verse 33 do not be misled the bad company will corrupt good character then point number three failure doesn't define you and I can see uh, in the movie that Hogar and the, and the Iron Giant they, they make from a mistake but yet they learn from each other they, they grow from each other I like my favorite part of the movie that the Iron Giant he saved the kids when they were falling and I like how the Iron Giant was protecting everything and of course point number four is love 
the greatest medicine is love, and you feel in and John chapter 15, verse 13, that greater love have no one to be to lay down his life for a friend. And my favorite part in the movie, The Iron Giant, he fought with a missile. When the missile blew up in the, in the face, the Iron Giant faced to stay. And what happened, Iron Giant, he, he flew, and of course, he, he gave his life to protect the community. Because why? Because Jesus loves you. He gave his life for you on the cross. The Bible says in John chapter 15, verse 13, that greater love have no one of who laid down his life for his friend. Amen. You guys receive that message. I, I promise you guys, I do have, I am going to be posting the full sermon on YouTube, on the description. Right now, I'm struggling. I am looking for help in my weekly service. I do have a, a, a sermon on the Iron Giant at the movie, but I know God will be a provider. I know God is faithful to me. And But let me go ahead and, and, and close in prayer. My loving Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for this service. Thank you, Lord, for continue to for a great week. Protect everybody, Lord, to protect them, Lord. And that so we can be blessed. And we, we know, Lord, that if there's a purpose. And I, I, I declare it in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody say amen. Well, amen. Well, God bless you guys. Take care.